Maintenance crews unlocking the gates at Grasky Crossing near 228th and West Dodge Road. We're excited to get these open and let the public back in and enjoy these facilities like they're intended. So it's been a long haul since the flood and our staff has done a great job cleaning up and getting everything ready to go. Winkler says public access is usually available by April 1st, but the flooding and damage that followed delayed that. We had a lot of debris obviously from the floods in March and so it was an extensive effort. We had a lot of sand move out, a lot of uh, you know, restrooms were damaged and, and fencing and picnic tables and things like that. Even though access points are open, Winkler says there's still a little bit of cleanup left to do. We would uh, encourage people to really watch the debris in the water. Um, there's going to be more trees, there's going to be uh, other things that are submerged that maybe weren't there before. Some outfitters like Tubing and Adventures have been on the river for several weeks and they've been busy. We've put a couple thousand people in the water already, so um, you know I think it's a great thing that the NRD is finally opening up their public access points, you know, so other people can enjoy it. The Tubing and Adventures owner says it'll keep people from breaking the rules. People were going to get in the water one way or another, so a lot of people were trespassing, whether it was on my tr property or other people's property. So there, there was a lot of that happening. So I think with the ramps opening up, a lot of people are going to use that instead of trespassing. Now, Winkler says the Elkhorn Crossing access point is still closed due to cleanup, but if you are going to be on the river, just be aware there may be more debris than usual. Reporting near Grasky Crossing, Naya Gonzalez, KETV News Watch 7.